People in a Sacramento County neighborhood are concerned after anti-Semitic flyers showed up at several homes. But, but why? Why in the world are these people? It doesn't make any sense. Authorities are trying to figure out who left the flyers, but it's not the first time something like this has happened in the area. Yeah, no, it's not. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope joins us live near the neighborhood where these leaflets were found. And Brittany, where does the investigation stand right now? So I have to tell you, just before we came live here, another resident just came up to us and asked if this is what we were reporting on because she's incredibly concerned. We know the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office and their federal partners are working on this right now. Residents in this area tell us they're scared. I saw a piece of garbage outside the house and I thought it was one of these um, bags that one of the gyms will like put a flyer in with some rocks. But when Nathaniel Miller looked closer, he realized it was an anti-Semitic flyer, blaming Jewish politicians and leaders for gun control and what it called the COVID agenda. It was, you know, very clearly just someone probably driving in a vehicle, throwing it out their window like like they were delivering a newspaper in the 1980s. His home is one of five in this Carmichael neighborhood on Ranger Way off Rampart Drive, where the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office said these leaflets were found yesterday. I don't think I'm that surprised. Not surprised because this isn't new. In 2021, similar incidents happened two miles down the road. In early October, Aryan Brotherhood leaflets were found here on campus at Deterting Elementary School and at several other homes in this neighborhood. Two weeks later, photos of Adolf Hitler were posted all over the menorah and front gate of this synagogue called Shalom Le Israel. And now nine months later, new different leaflets found here. Back on Ranger Way, neighbors tell us they are concerned with this new occurrence of anti-Semitism on their block. I've got alarms everywhere. Um, I've got cameras all over the place because of all of this. And it shouldn't be that way. It just shouldn't. This resident didn't want to show her face on camera, but wants her message, her frustration to be heard. Who knows what their reason is? I don't think they have to have a reason. They just like to terrorize people. And I want to bring it back to March now. That's when the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office charged a man named Nicholas Sherman to 180 days in jail in connection to the two other anti-Semitic incidents in Carmichael back in October. Now the Sheriff's Office tells me tonight that Sherman served 100 of those 180 days before he was released. We're live in Carmichael, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. And Brittany, have any arrests been made in connection with the new flyers that were found yesterday? So we've been in contact all day with the sheriff's office on this. As of the very latest update, they say there's no suspect information so far and no one has been arrested. All right, Brittany Hope reporting live for us. Thank you so much.